Oh my gosh, we're doing a video marathon YouTube. What is going on? It's LA Prepper. Let's take a quick look in the background. Got some rifle case stuff going on. I can actually show you. This video isn't meant to be about my uh, cell phone, but I got a brand new cell phone, a LG Tribute HD. I am so original that the last phone that I had was an LG Tribute, I think 660. Um, I bought it I bought my last phone about a couple years ago. Um, I've been an Android phone user. Not so much because I have a problem with Apple, it's just their phones are a lot more expensive. If Apple had super affordable phones, and they're actually come, they've come down in price a lot, um, they have different options. But if Apple, if Apple phones were as cheap as uh, regular phones two years ago, maybe I would have bought an Apple phone. But they insist on doing everything a little bit different. And uh, ever since they gave up on having a mouse that could do anything useful, I've decided to. <laughs> sort of be an anti-Apple person, but I digress. Um, you need it, we got it. I guess I needed a cell phone, you know? Even the guy, you know, the FedEx guy that delivered it was like, he, okay, I gotta admit, and I'm not, I'm not gonna say exactly why I had a little bit of a hard time understanding him. He spoke very good English, um, but, Let's just say I had a little bit of a hard time understanding him. Uh, so she was saying something about like, if I, if I drop off the phone, like people are going to kill me. People are going to go crazy if I just drop off the phone, like without, so something like he was really busy and he had a lot of deliveries. And if I didn't come to the door really quickly, he was just going to drop off the phone and peace out. But a lot of people get upset when they do that with their phones. So he hung around. I mean, it took me it took me about six seconds to get to the door. So I think it's funny that he's making a joke about how long it took me to get to the door when it, you know, it didn't take that long at all. But anyways, um, cool guy. You know, I mean, gosh, those delivery guys, they're on their feet all day, huffing it. That's, I've done delivery work in, man, intense. But anyways, this phone comes with a 5.0, 5.0, it's like an operating system. 5.0 HD touchscreen display, Android 6.0 Marshmallow operating system, 8 megapixel rear camera, which is what you're looking at right now, 5 megapixel front facing camera, which is for these selfies, 3G, 4G LTE, and if you've never looked up LG, or uh, sorry, 4G versus LTE, I actually just looked it up recently, it was super interesting, it's like they, they were going to create this 4G speed, but they never really got it. So then they changed the law to say that you can call it 4G if it's a lot better than 3G. Then they came out with LTE, so you can call LTE. <laughs> Crazy the marketing these people go through. 2100 milliamp battery, 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor. This thing is a processor that's about half as powerful as my laptop that cost $1,000 in about 2008. So. so we have a big 14 pound brick. And we have a, whatever, six ounce cell phone, but I didn't want to make this video about the cell phone. I just thought I'd introduce you to my new toy. We are going to talk about, and maybe I can do some handheld just so it's easier for me to make sure we're in frame here. That's right. We went to the thrift store, Salvation Army. I don't know if it says on there. No, to be specific. Ooh, still not loving the up close zoom. We do better than that. There we go. That's a little better. Dollar nineteen. So what's in the bag? Nice bag, isn't it? Asia, Asiana Airlines. I wonder if you fly first class. If this is like a toiletries bag that they just give you, wouldn't surprise me. But let's see if we can get a little, a little more. Use a cell phone box here, give myself a little more height. Yeah, so what's going on with this bag? Well, I tell you, after I did my um, after I did my rank these, uh, what was it? Rank these twenty-one or rank these sixteen items, and then also sort of like rank these twenty-one items. As people kept responding with their own stuff. Few people are saying uh, about a fire kit. Now I have fire starting stuff in my bug out bag as well as kind of in my level two bag. Um, 
Not in my everyday carry bag because I go to school, so I'm not really like trying to start a fire and be Daniel Boone at school. <laughs> but uh, you know, also my school is like a mile away from my house, so it's a lot more likely that I'm just gonna go back to my house rather than try to be survival man at school. So at any rate, I just thought, you know, I kind of like the idea of a fire kit. I don't, I haven't spent a lot of time doing the whole Vaseline thing uh, uh, with you know cotton swabs and. I have one flint, I don't have a ton of flints um, and steels, uh, you know, I have a magnifying glass, but, which I think will just barely fit in here, I, I kind of want to cut the handle off, but anyways. So that is bag number one, picked up for the very expensive price of $1.15. <clears throat> now bag no oh! almost dropped the phone, almost dropped the brand new phone. Bag number two. What is going on with bag number two? First of all, how much did I pay for bag number two? That's right. Dollar nineteen. The lady I asked it was funny, I asked the lady at Goodwill, uh, or sorry, Salvation Army how much. And she was like and you know it's funny, she didn't even look inside. Like sometimes they'll kinda look inside to see if uh, you know the price is on the inside and I'm trying to be shady or whatever. She was like $1.99, and then when she was going to scan it, she said, you know what, I'll just give it to you for the price of the other one. I was like, damn lady, saving me 80 cents. Gotta love it. So anyways, let's, oh, and this one is just a little bit bigger. We're sort of struggling to get this in frame. But this one is really cool, and I'll tell you what it's gonna be after I open it up. But we have a nice little side pocket in here. I don't know if I need to turn the light on. Ooh, I can turn the light on mid-video. Sweet. So we got a little side pocket on here. We got same side pocket, other side. Gotta love that symmetry. I'm a little bit OCD, so if there's only a side pocket on one side, you know, I don't know, that would really bug me. Nice little U-zipper. Actually, a double zipper, too. I don't think I would want to lock it, but if I ever did. But then you open it up, and it's like... God damn, they were they were doing some work. I think it's sort of like a traveling toiletries thing, which incidentally is very similar to the bug out everyday car bag that I have. Um, and in case you're wondering, I have a really cool channel, Sunny Simple Life, up on here for you wondering what the strange woman on my laptop is. But uh, so we have a little hanger here, which is super cool. Hang stuff. We got this pouch. This this is kind of weird. So this middle pouch, it's like a non-existent pocket. They just, I guess they were just kind of lining the whole thing with this plastic, maybe because it was like meant for makeup or so if you spill shaving cream, you can like clean it up easily, um, which is cool, you know, but, uh, but yeah, it would have been nice if they put a pocket right here. So I don't know, like, I would love to somehow, I mean, I could sort of open this up, but I hate to because I like kind of different sized pockets, but I don't know. I'm sure I could sort of hot glue like some zipper or something, Velcro, homemade. I could do something to make that a pocket. I'm not the greatest with a needle and thread, but anyways, so we got that pocket. We got this side pocket, this side pocket, this big area on the front, but then we even have more. So we have this sort of like little front area, but then we're gonna go even like one more level. We got this area here. So this, I'm planning on it being my new trauma kit. Um, I presently have some trauma supplies. I, I presently don't have a trauma kit is the short answer to my ramble. Um, I, I have trauma related supplies like gauze and ace bandages and uh you know some wipes and you know stuff like antiseptics um some basic over-the-counter medication gloves masks um, but i'm kind of short on kind of short on stuff you know i've been working on some different stuff with my preps but uh, first aid is definitely on the list to be honest and I talked about, uh, you know, what's holding you back and prepping the other day. Just the research, man. There's so many people with, like, great first aid videos. Just kind of watching a couple of them. Trying to get an idea of, you know, which tourniquet, which, uh, you know, chest occlusive, which uh, hemostatic agent. 
And that stuff's kind of expensive. You know, it's like 15 bucks for like three hemostatic gauze packs or something, which, you know, I'm sure is worth it in the long run. But, you know, you add a tourniquet and some quick clot gauze and a few other things and you're like 50 bucks. Like, you know, got to kind of keep my budgeting careful. But anyways, we got our nice little fire kit and I'm going to be filling this up and doing another video on this. And we got our nice little trauma kit. Maybe I'll put like a cross on here. Be kind of cool. So yeah, thanks for watching. Coming up next in the super video marathon, we're going to talk about this guy. We're going to do a quick little range review. And before we do that, <clears throat> I'll say another potential video that's coming up. We're going to do a quick what's in my range bag. And I think since I'm right here, I'll go ahead and stop this video and start on my third super mega video megathon marathon. Thanks for watching YouTube and we will see you shortly.